Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Glad to see you again. Always happy to be with you. You know what? Uh, not a whole lot to announce except live stream tomorrow. So tomorrow on YouTube, there will be a live stream because <laughs> I worked yesterday and I wasn't supposed to. So I've got Saturday off, so I'm going to do a live stream. It's just going to be you, me, Moots, and whoever wants to hop on and just kind of join in some uh, fun and conversation. So, Saturday morning tea with Raven. I don't know if we're going to do any readings or not. I mean, we might. You never know. Speaking of readings, this is Full Scale Friday. So this is what a Full Scale reading will look like. Um, if you do want private readings, this is what they'll look like. And how do you get a private reading? It's very simple. In the description down below is my link tree. You go to that, you find my wish list. Send me something off the wish list. Anything $35 and under gets you two readings and a birthday reading. Anything over that, I increase it to four readings and a birthday reading. And yes, those those readings are redeemable at any time. So there's no rush at all. And if uh, there's something in the way of in the way of scheduling, kind of standing in the way, I will absolutely discuss it with you. Okay. So. That's what we're going to do right now, is just a, just sort of a standard reading like that. Just asking, what do we need to know about today? And you know what? I'm kind of hoping for a little news from the cards myself, because I was made aware that, you know, there's going to be an answer one way or another on this promotion thing from a couple months ago. Uh, but I'm not very confident that it will work out. There's just some factors at play here, and I'm like, hmm. So, we're going to see how that works out. I'm hoping for some really good news today. I know you are, too. The last thing I want is any more warning signs. <laughs> we've, we've been getting a lot of them. We've been getting quite a few of those lately, and I'm like, okay, I'm over it. Let's, let's get some good news. But this... This reading will carry us through the weekend, so hopefully some good news for this weekend. I know I already got a bit of good news for Sunday, and I'm a little happy about that, so. Let's see what we've got. Starting with you. Starting with you. Starting with me. Starting with us. Ah, finally, a little bit of good news here. Any battle we face, we can win. We're going to have to employ the right strategy, of course. A little strategy, a little, little tactical response, shall we say. But we can absolutely win those battles. And those battles... Winning, losing, um, it's kind of beside the point, really, isn't it? It's more about kind of like, um, how can I say this? Learning from them. Because there's always something to learn from a battle. So, the key thing is we're just going to let go of our inner restrictions and of others' expectations. Basically, right now you're being called to be the hero in your own story or the heroine in your own story. It's your story. You're the protagonist this weekend. Now, are you a flawed hero, an anti-hero? It doesn't matter. What matters is, which... Do you choose the path of heroism, or do you choose complete and total obscurity, where no one knows your name? It's kind of up to you. How are we being guided? By Skadi. You're going to have to be very, very true to yourself. Remember... If you're being asked to do something, why don't you compromise with us? But what they're asking just goes against the core fabric of your being. That is not a compromise. That is acquiescence. 
You're not being you're you're being absolutely guided to not acquiesce this weekend. So now looking around in the real tangible world, the world of nature, what can we look to? The rhino, which overcomes any obstacle. Now the rhino is a bit like a sledgehammer, aren't they? They will smash, they will charge, those horns will gore. Does that mean they do it all the time? Absolutely not. Nobody says that you have to be like a bull in a china shop. But if the situation calls for it, hmm, maybe. Looking at the mentality here, we do have the tower. Got a ten of wands here. We got a five of swords. So it kind of, it, it, there's the thought that everything's just falling apart. Everything's crumbling right now. And it does seem like that. Whenever we see what's going on, and this isn't a feeling. This is our relationship to the world right now. We kind of feel like there's a very tenuous grip on the world. Like our connection with it's being severed. But the fact of the matter is it's not. We still have that firm, solid foundation from which we can, we can rebuild. Ten of Wands... You're going to have to cre you're going to have to creatively complete something, because that's what this is. This is that good problem to have. This is a burden, but the burden is light. And like the like the deer here in the uh, picture. Yeah, heavy is the head that wears the crown. But guess what? You know how you know how to do it. But be careful. Be very careful. Because right now, the thought that things are just slipping through your fingers, the thought that something's being taken from you, that can be a very dangerous thought. So it's important to understand that yes, your tower is burning to the ground, but guess what? The ground will still be beneath it. You can still rebuild. But you're going to have to get a little creative about this. You're going to have to really, really focus on your wit and your strategy. That's going to be everything. Physically, we have the Empress, we have a Page of Cups, and then we have the Hierophant. And we've got two very, we've got three very big cards already in this spread, but the Empress is about nurturing. This is almost not nature versus nurture. This is nurturing nature. Your own nature needs to come into it. You need to be able to honestly express yourself. You need to be able to calmly do it and do so in a way that you're going to be respected. We'll get to that in just a moment. Because the Page of Cups, if you notice, this is it's a nest of eggs, right? While the Empress is very nature or nurturing, this is what you're nurturing. Someone else's development depends upon you. Something else's de development depends upon you. You're going to have to spend a little time with that. On top of that, it's good news coming. Which gives me a little, uh, little bit of a relief. And then we have the Hierophant here. It was a lot like the Pope, right? That religious authority. You're going to be looking to spiritual advisors quite a bit. You're going to have to reflect on their words to you. You're going to have to reflect on their deeds. And you're going to have to see if those two things come together. Because if they do not, then that person literally has very, very scant authority. It's very shaky ground upon which they're standing. And what do we say about the uh, shaky ground? Unstable ground? Nope, can't build anything on that. So make sure that what they're standing on is firm. And then take their advice and move from there. Also, we have a nine of wands. We have a four of coins here. And we have a four of wands. So, for this one, the nine of wands, this is that completion. 
from right over here, that burden that you're carrying is going to stem from this, the absolute need to complete that, that bit of creative work. Remember, we've also talked about creativity being that godlike power in all of us. Creation is everything, not destruction. We see the destruction with the tower, but then what do we create? It's important not to hold on to things too tightly. Because if you hold on to things too tightly, guess what? More things will begin slipping through your fingers. We've heard that in the movie Star Wars. The more tightly you squeeze the galaxy, the more, you know, the more people will slip through your fingers. And of course, our elements, our creativity, working together with others, makes it even better. So sometimes asking others to be creative with you can work out really well. Let's see what the Work Your Light Oracle cards have. Okay. Number one, what, here's a question. What is your soul calling you to do right now? Think about that. I really want you to focus on this particular card, this particular question. If you're not in a place where you're not doing what you feel called to do, why? Why aren't you? What is that thing? You're right, that's, that's in the mind. It's a good question to keep in mind all day. You don't have to make it all happen in one day. You just have to plant the seeds today. Look, look around right now. There are people who have been planting seeds for about two or three years and they're starting to come to fruit. Things are starting to come out. We're being shown that the ways of the world, sometimes those in power, <laughs> the emperor has no clothes. All those good deeds that need an audience, right? Guess what? That's not you. You just lay the foundation. You just plant the seed. And then you nurture it, little by little. And the rest grows on its own. And here's the thing. Take a damn break this weekend. Take a little time for reflection and meditation. Get off the damn treadmill. They're talking mentally, spiritually, maybe physically. If you've been hitting the treadmill like every day for, you know, 30 minutes a day, it's time, it's time to take a break. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, does it not? Finally, Burkano's coming up again. Gabo, naturally. And of course, Ivaz. So with Burkano, it is all about growth. Remember, we plant the seeds for the seeds to grow. We nurture the seeds for the seeds to grow. And even the prettiest of flowers had to push through a lot of dirt to get there. Just remember that. Gabo, now, you have gifts. We've talked about this before. You have gifts. You can choose to ignore them or you can choose to develop them. Your creative gift is going to be the thing that you really want to nurture the most. And focusing on how to use it, because it's powerful, is going to be the absolute best thing you can do this weekend. Because if you're being called to create, you need to be creating. It doesn't have to be the full-time job, at least not yet, but it could be the one thing that you do between, you know, the, the shift at work, the little bit of downtime you got before bed, and then bed, and then, you know, again. But if you've got the break, spend it creating. And the most important thing is, 
With IVAs, you're going to need to be flexible. Those that do not bend will break. And we're pointing over there at Scotty. This is not the easiest thing to do. I mean, it's, uh, I'm seeing the one message in this entire reading, nothing good ever came easy. You're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to fight for it. Blood, sweat, and tears, the works. But the most important thing to remember is that it's not all work, work, work. It's not all fight, fight, fight. This is giving you a moment where you can finally hold that space and just light up for a little while. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. I've been posting pictures of the uh, ever-growing library and the ever-crowded cabinets of uh, my RPG books. And let me tell you something. Any day where I find I can pull one of those books in it and read through it just a little bit, even if it's on like uh, my tablet, because there are some books I have in PDF I don't have in physical. But being able to pull one of those books and crack it open or pull up a PDF and look at it, those are moments that light me up. And here's the thing. Those moments are kind of few and far between. Sometimes I just have to do it on my lunch break. But everything that had ever been done to me was designed to get me to stop doing them. People are still trying to get me to stop reading certain books. They, they don't want me to read those. But if I gave that up, it's the first step to giving up the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing. And the minute I stop for any reason, not emotion, not any of that, any reason, if I'm making any, even the most reasonable of arguments, negates all that I've done, and now I'm miserable. I would rather have moments where I'm lit up I'm feeling great, I'm feeling joyful, and I can share that with others than a lifetime of misery trying to hop from one foot to the next trying to figure out which end is up. These are your moments of joy. Relish them. Cherish them. Share them. Yo Dano and uh, at Samwise7RPG on Twitter those are two guys that do it often. And I've greatly benefited from their friendship. So I definitely want to give them both a shout out. And thank them both. Personally. For all they've done. But that's everything for this weekend. I hope that it resonates with you. I hope that you found something that you could take forward into the weekend with you. And I hope. More than anything, not that I'm right, but that you find that joy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Live stream tomorrow. Let's hang out. Just remember I love you all. I want you to take care of yourselves and each other. I want you to always do what lights you up. And as always, shine on.